guys in this video we are going to learn how to use chat gpt api in node.js and javascript to begin with i've created a simple folder that is chat gpt live and we are going to initialize this folder with a node.js project so basically we are going to set up a node.js project in this folder and then we are going to see how we can use chat gpt api in combination with javascript and node.js so let's set up a node.js project first here so i'm going to run a command here that is npm init so once we have run this command it will create a package.json file into our folder which means it it has been initialized as a node.js project so under this folder we are going to create a new folder that is server.mjs and we are going to be writing our entire code into this server.mjs file and inside the package.json we can see that there is a scripts tag here and under the scripts we are going to add a start script which will say node mode server.mjs so basically every time i say npm start in my terminal it's going to be using node mode module and start my file server.mjs basically run all the code that's written in server.mjs for that we have to install a package called nodemon so i'm going to run a command npm install nodemon we'll start writing code here but before that we are going to install express server and we are going to create a, a basic node.js app with probably just a single endpoint that says hello world so i'll run another command to install express server here in the terminal that is npm install express so the next thing i am going to do in this project is i am going to import express from express and then i am going to create a app using the express module and this app is going to be so we are going to say app dot listen and this is going to be listening on port 3000 and we'll just say console log server is running so now we have created a basic app in node.js and i'm going to start my server by typing npm start and this will run all the code in server.mjs and we can see that server is running so this means that our app is listening on port 3000 so what we are going to do is we are going to create a one endpoint that is app.get and this is going to be the root endpoint so where there is going to be request and response and initially we are just going to send back a text that is hello world on this endpoint so basically this is to test if our server is running fine and port is listening on 3000 so i have created a get endpoint here so what i'll do is i'll go to my browser i'll open my localhost 3000 so you can see that now it responds with hello world so i can also make some changes to it hello world server is running so if i save it and refresh my app i'm able to see all the changes that i make there so that means our app is working totally fine our app is listening on this so now we are done with setting up a node.js project we will dive deeper into chat gpt api so basically chat gpt is a product of open ai so the api is provided by open ai so i'm going to search open ai api and i land on this page of open ai and here i'm going to log in with my user id and password so basically if you don't have a login here you can create a new login and while creating a new login make sure you choose api and that's because that's where we are going to need the access so once you are logged into the api you will see this kind of dashboard here where you are logged in as yourself and you have all the options here and there is also an option to create api keys for your own chat gpt api we are going to see in a minute like how to use all these api keys but once you are done signing in there is a possibility that you have to set up a billing for this account because open api is not free to use it's going to charge you a little bit based on what all features you are going to be used using in this api so once you have added your card information to the 
to your account so here in the billing you should be able to add all your uh, card information or add some credit balance to your account and then you should be able to create these api keys and and then you should be able to use those api keys in node.js and i'll teach you how to do that so before we continue what we can do is you can search for open ai api pricing so once you open this pricing page you should be able to see uh, how much exactly it's going to charge you so basically it's going to charge you based on number of api calls you are making because in this video we are going to be using chat gpt 3.5 model so basically for 1 million tokens it's going to charge us half a dollar and how many tokens we are going to be using in a single prompt that we give to chat gpt is going to be based on how complicated that prompt is so basically these charges are very kind of minimal for few calls so you can probably add 10 dollars to your account and try it uh, on node.js so in this api there is also a page that that is the entire documentation on this api and it also has what kind of apis are available what kind of features are available under this open ai api because open ai api is not just for chat gpt it's for other things as well like you can do image generation speech to text uh, you can do a lot of other things but in this video we are going to mainly focus on chat gpt api which is basically a text generation so i'm going to go to api reference and then under the endpoints i'm going to click on chat because we'll be focusing on only on chat gpt api so here in the chat window you should be able to see the chunk of code that we can use to make calls to this open ai api so here you can see that we have to import open ai from open ai so i'm going to copy this command from here and go back to my code and paste it here so it's it's going to give me some kind of error because we have not installed open ai modules so i'm going to run a command that is npm install open ai now i'm going to start this server back again here so now you can see that error is gone we have imported open ai from open ai and basically what i can do is i can copy create this variable that is open ai using open ai module so i'm going to paste it here so here in the error it says that you are missing this api key inside this which is to be passed exactly like it says in the error so i'm going to copy this paste it here so i'm going to pass my api key here so i've already shown you you can go and create a api key in your account so here i'm going to use my api key so i've created an open ai variable with the open ai module and i have also passed my api key here and now i'll go back to the documentation so here there is a function that is main uh, function i can actually copy this entire function here and paste it somewhere in my code so we are going to try and understand this function so in this function basically what we are going to do is we are using that open ai variable that we have created here by passing all the api keys so basically under the messages we are going to pass our query so as of now it says you are a helpful assistant so basically i'm going to change this query and i'm going to say who are you and basically we are going to pass this query to gpt 3.5 turbo model which is basically a machine learning model which is, which is going to respond in this api so this is our main function i'm going to run this main function here and let's save it so here in the response because i'm console logging completion dot choices of zero so here in the response you can see that there is a message and there is a content and in the content this model has replied that i am an artificial intelligence designed to help and in interact with users how can i assist you today so i can actually pass any query here for example i can say who is the current president of usa 
so i'm going to ask a question to the chat gpt model and save it and as soon as the main function will run it's going to console log the response here so it says joe biden so basically this is how we use open ai api in in node.js and javascript so now what we will do is we have this main function here and we are running this main function basically what we will do is we will create another endpoint which is again a get and this is going to be slash ask so request comma response so under this endpoint we are going to copy this entire code I'm going to basically copy this entire main function under ask endpoint and what I'll do is send the response from chat GPT to this endpoint. So basically what's happening here is it's a get endpoint that's that is slash ask. So if I go to my browser, so our server is still listening on localhost 3000 which says hello world server is running. So if I go to slash ask, so as soon as I go to slash ask, I'm, I'm receiving all the response that chat GPT has sent. As of September 2021, the current president of United States is Joe Biden. So basically what we will do is we will make this query, which is here, who is the current president of USA. We are going to make this as a dynamic query. So basically we are going to receive this query from query parameters so for example i can pass a query parameter into my browser for example question is equal to who are you so as of now it's always going to respond that president query because it's a static term here we are going to make it dynamic so basically what i'm going to do is under the question that i'm asking chat gpt i'll put it as a request dot query dot question so under the query parameters whatever question i'm going to be asking it's going to give a response as per that so i'm going to save it so now if i go back to my slash ask so this time i have to pass a question who are you so if i ask who are you it's responding me with the i'm a language model ai assistant and if i change my question like how are you thank you for asking i'm just a computer program i don't have any feelings so it's responding whatever the question i'm going to be passing in the query parameters let's try and ask another question who is the president of australia so it responds with the relevant answer as chat gpt would the president of australia is not the head of the state australia is a constitutional monarchy head of the government is prime minister who is currently scott morrison so this is how we use chat gpt api into our node.js and we can build any kind of app using chat gpt so if you like this video leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions about chat gpt api you can post it in the comments and i'll try to answer all the queries as much as i can thank you so much for watching see you in the next video